uh, in this video I'll show you how to hide any pinned page on any other page on Cargo Collective website. Here is my structure. This is my home page and I have pinned header and pinned footer. So this is my header and this is my footer. And on each page which I open, I will see header and footer. It doesn't matter which settings do I have here, uh, they affect all pages for, for the whole website. Also, I have a set of pages. Here I, I have um, project pages we, uh, where, okay, this one, I'd better show you this one, uh, where I also have uh, its own footer, but I can see this footer as well. So uh, how to make this footer be seen only for this set. You just need to organize your pages into a set and put this pinned page inside of this set. And let's say if I want to hide my footer, like my mine footer for this particular set, I would uh, not use uh, custom code. I would do that uh, using sets. So organizing your page into sets. So I would um, add a new set for a home page and put the footer there if I want uh, to use this footer only for my home page or for these two pages. So this is like easiest way how to do that. And this is a correct way how to do that without using any custom code. But just imagine that uh, you want to hide this particular pinned page for some particular pages from this set, not for all of them, uh, like here. So you see now this is um, like uh, this pinned page, but you don't see any footer. Yeah, or like here. We see the space which this footer takes, but we don't see any content. And I'll show you how to do that. First of all, open your uh, pinned page and copy its ID, this number. Then uh, go to the page where you want to hide your footer. Let's say this one. And uh, go to code view, open your HTML. And uh, at the beginning, open tag style. And don't forget to close it, style. Inside of this tag, you need to open a square brace and say local style equals double quote, your number, the number you've just copied. Then open curvy brace and close it. And inside, you need to say display none. That's how we can hide this page. Uh, we can just uh, remove it as if there is no page like that. I mean, not page, but uh, you got it just um, this part of your page. So now we have only one footer and um, yeah, we don't see any and another footer. But if we go back, we still see that it, this code does not affect any other pages. So that's why we place it here directly, not in CSS uh, panel. Okay, this is another example how to make it invisible, but still um, make it keep the space which it takes, opacity, zero. And you also need to say pointer, events, none. Yeah, and probably you need to add one more part to make your, um, make your links not clickable because this thing is just uh, change the opacity, it's obvious, but this thing prevents uh, your elements to be clickable. Otherwise, we will see empty space, but our links still uh, will be active. Uh, another part is gonna be like that. So A tag, which stands for all links, pointer events none, and I would add important just in case. Yeah, okay, now I see this space. So my footer is still here, but my all, all elements of footer is just hidden. And yeah, they are also not clickable. That's, there is two ways how to do that. Thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective. Goodbye.